Hello and welcome to the first uh, video or stream on um, creating a space combat game in Unreal 4 using only blueprints. So the first thing we're going to do is check out our inputs. This is a blank project, the blank blueprint project, but I have created uh, some inputs already. I'll just go over them. So we have increased throttle, which is W and S as 1 and negative 1 respectively. We have the yaw as a scale of 1, which is the mouse x. Pitch is mouse y with a scale of 1. Move right is d and a with a scale of 1 and negative 1. Move up is spacebar and left control, left ctrl, as 1 and negative 1. And roll is e and q as 1 and negative 1. So we'll save that. So we'll go into our content folder, make a new folder, and we'll call it blueprints. And it already exists, so we'll just fix up read directors delete it and create a new folder and call it blueprints and we'll create a new class and we'll call it a pawn and it'll be called base ship so we'll go inside that and we will add a static mesh and we'll set it as the root by dragging it over the root and we'll rename it ship mesh Compile and save, and we'll just give it a default of drone hull. You can find these uh, models that I use below. 25, 25, 25 scale, just so we can see what it looks like. All right, so now we'll set up our um, variables. So we're going to need a bunch of floats. So we'll call the first float max speed, and we'll make it editable. So uh, children, which I'll explain later, can have um, a max, a different max speed. We'll name it next one current speed. We'll name the next one um, desired speed. The next one acceleration insert. And we'll give max speed a default value of 75. And we'll give acceleration a default value of 1. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So off tick, we're going to get the current speed and we're going to set it. And we're going to get add actor local offset. Right click delta location and split the struct pin to get the x axis. And off current speed, we're going to do f interp2. And we're going to get current speed as current. And we're going to set desired speed. Oops, sorry. We're going to get desired speed and set that as the target. And the delta time, we're going to get world delta seconds. And for the interrupt speed, we're going to get acceleration interrupt speed, but we're going to divide that in half. I apologize for the sniffling. Okay, and we're going to do move forward. Oh, sorry, increase throttle, and we're going to do greater than zero and less than zero. And we're going to hold B and click to get a branch, and if it's greater than zero, we are going to set our desired speed, and we're going to F interp that too, and we're going to get our current speed. Uh, sorry, get desired speed as the current and as the target we're going to do I can't remember how I did this. Hold on, I'm just going to look at how I did this. Max speed, obviously. What was I thinking? done this like three times trying to get it right and I've gotten confused I'm sorry so we'll get our acceleration interp and drag that into the interp speed and we're gonna get world delta seconds alright so that'll increase our speed if we're uh, pushing W or holding whatever key you'd like and we're gonna do if it's if we're holding the S key now so we're just gonna copy this and drag that to true 
but instead of max speed, we're going to do get max speed times negative 1. Uh, sorry, max speed divided by 2. So we get half of it. <coughs> and then we're going to times it by negative 1. So that's half the max speed, but in the negative value for uh, the negative speed moving backwards. So we'll compile and save this. And we'll call this throttle. And we'll call this tick move forward, backward. And then we'll add in some turning as well. So we'll get yaw. And if this is not equal to zero, we'll be for branch. We want to add actor local rotation, split the struct spin by right clipping, and we'll get yaw times. Actually, we'll just connect the yaw. I think that'll be good. We're going to copy this and paste it, but replace yaw with pitch. Connect this to pitch. And we're not going to do roll. We're going to do roll on the fighter class because we don't want capital ships to be able to roll. So the next thing we're going to do is do input yeah move right. If this is not equal to zero meaning we're holding D or A we're going to hold a branch. We're going to add actor local offset Whoops, not rotation. Local offset. Split the truck pin. And we're going to multiply this by a value. Dog is just visiting. We're going to multiply this by strafe value. Oops, uh, strafe speed, and we'll give it a default value of 25. We're going to do the same thing for move up, except we're going to connect it to the Z axis. Uh, we want to connect it to a new one now, not the old one. Just getting distracted by my dog, I apologize. We'll call this strafing. And I'll be back in a second with the next actually we'll we'll test this out. So we'll get rid of this. Go to our blueprints, spaceship. <coughs> 